بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Welcome to episode three of the series Leadership Lessons from the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. In this episode, we will take the story that Hudayfa narrates. He said, nothing stopped me or prevented me from um, witnessing Badr, the Battle of Badr, from being present and witnessing and participating in the Battle of Badr, except that I went out, me and my, my, uh, my father and I went out and to join the Prophet Sallam, but we were caught by the Kuffar of Quraysh. They caught them, they held them captive, and they said, you're going to join Muhammad. You're going to join Muhammad. In other words, you're going to join him and fight against us. So, Hudayfa saying, so we said, him and his father, so he said, they told the Kuffar of Quraysh, when they caught them, he said, no, we're not going to join him, but rather we're only going to Medina. So, they took their word for it. They made them basically promise, you know, promise by Allah that you're not going to join him to fight against us, you're, that you're truly going to Medina. And so, they, that they, they gave them their word basically that yeah we're going to Medina we're not going to join the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and fight against you in the Battle of Badr. So when they let them go when they set them free, Hudayfa and his father went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and told him what had happened. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "In nafi lahum bi ahdihim wa nasta'inu Allaha alayhim." Go on, leave. In other words, you said you're going to Medina. Go to Medina and leave. Don't come join us in the battle. نَفِي لَهُمْ بِعَهْدِهِمْ We will, we will fulfill the trust. We will fulfill that agreement that we've had between us. And we will seek Allah's help against them. SubhanAllah. We see, we learn so many lessons from this. But specifically I want to share two leadership lessons that I learned from the Prophet ﷺ from this specific story, from this incident. The Prophet ﷺ always was honest and trustworthy. Always honest and trustworthy in every single situation, with no exceptions. He had in integrity even during times of war, even with the enemy. They're about to fight these people, go into battle with them. They're about to fight each other. These people are coming to kill them. He could have said, let me use anyone I can, any help I can get, let's use it. This is war, you know, I mean, if we break our promise, it's war. They're coming to kill us. We're fighting back, you know, but no, the Prophet ﷺ stood firm, on with his values and morals and beliefs and he's, he was always honest trustworthy and he always had integrity even during times of war even with his own enemy people who are tr coming trying to kill him he was trustworthy and he had integrity and he fulfilled that trust he kept those promises he kept his word and not only that the other lesson we learned is that he did that himself and he commanded others to do the same as well he was a good example for his followers too he held his followers to that same standard. He held himself and his followers to that same standard of truthfulness, trustworthiness, and integrity. Barakallahu feekum. Jazakum Allah khaira. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.